What's up YouTube, how are you doing? This is Mr. Tyrebox123 and in this video we're going to be doing a Geekbench benchmark comparison between the brand new 2012 MacBook Air and last year's 2011 MacBook Air. So here we go guys, let's see what this new Ivy Bridge processor can do in comparison to last year's Sandy Bridge processor. On the left here we've got the 2012 MacBook Air and on the right we've got the 2011 MacBook Air. Both exactly the same specifications, both got 4 gb of RAM, 128GB storage, both got the dual core i5. Let's just take a look at the exact speed of the processor on both of these models. So on the 2012, we've got 1.7 gigahertz. On the 2011, we've got the 1.6 gigahertz. Obviously the new version's got the 1600 megahertz DDR3, and the 2011 version has got the 1333 megahertz DDR3. But like I say, both with four gigabytes. So let's get Geekbench up and running on both of these and see what much difference the Ivy Bridge processor makes in the brand new 2012 MacBook Air in comparison to this 0.1 gigahertz slower Sandy Bridge processor of last year. So put them both to 64 bit and let's run these benchmarks. So as you can see, the 2012 MacBook Air has definitely finished faster than the 2011 MacBook Air and has come in with a total Geekbench score of 6,336. The 2011 MacBook Air has just finished as well, and that's come in at 5,140. So almost 1,500 points faster on the 2012 MacBook Air. Let's just break down these individual scores. So the processor integer performance is 4895 on the 2012. 3,972 on the 2011. Processor floating point, 8178 on the 2012. And on the 2011, 6,627. Memory performance, 5,487 versus 4,358. So a big jump there with that 1,600 megahertz increase. And then the memory bandwidth performance, 6,635 against 5,593. So definitely the 2012 MacBook Air is much faster than the previous year's model. That Ivy Bridge processor makes a big difference there. And also when you combine that with the speed of the flash storage on the new 2012 MacBook Air, you're gonna notice some definite improvements over last year's model. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.